Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here with me, if not, if you're not new here, welcome back. Today is day 20 of our 30 day yoga journey. This yoga journey in its entirety is called Inward. And for day 20 today, the theme is reclaim your peace. So in this practice, we're going to open up the door within ourselves and to connect with that place within us that is peaceful. We're going to create our own inner sanctuary that we could retreat to at any point in time, whenever we need it through the busyness of life. This practice is a very gentle practice, a slower paced practice, a lower to the ground practice. So get into something really comfortable. Maybe a block will be needed, maybe not. Whatever props or things you need to feel comfortable and supported. We'll complete this practice with the pranayama to bring an equilibrium and balance and to remember that inner sanctuary that we've cultivated so that we can take that off of our mat and into our day. So get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's begin this practice on our backs. So find a very comfortable position on your back. So you can either start with the knees bent here, feet wide, knees fall into touch. Or if you'd like, you can have the soles of the feet together, knees open or legs straight out. You just wanna make sure you feel supported and that you feel comfortable. Hands could rest on the belly for a little extra grounding and support or arms can be by down by the sides, palms up. So take a moment to just choose your beginning shape. And then close down your eyes. And let's bring in one clearing, cleansing breath to arrive here on our mats. So exhale your breath through your nose. And take a big breath in through your nose as your belly and chest expand, fill up. And then a nice big exhale out through the mouth, release, let it go. <sighs> Letting yourself sink a little deeper into your mat, allowing yourself to land and arrive. Close down your eyes if you haven't already. And here we just allow our breath to be natural. As we settle into our practice here, we're going to drop into a deeper space and place of peace. So within this often busy world that we live in, it's important for us to have a place where we could retreat to, a place of peace. And that space and place could also exist within ourselves, within our inner landscape, within our mind. So we'll just take the next minute or so to cultivate an inner sanctuary within ourselves. So imagine here opening a door within yourself that leads to a place of inner peace for you. And this could be a garden, it could be a beach, or a forest, or a mountain top. Whatever space or place that brings in serenity for you. And then step into that place. Notice how it feels to be here. Is the air warm or cool? What sounds do you hear here? And really Capture the vivid detail of this space with your mind's eye.
And within this space, you are safe. You are at ease. And you are enveloped in pure tranquility. just know that this inner sanctuary within you is always available to you. It is always there whenever you need it, whenever you desire it. On your next inhalation, just breathe in that peace within your inner sanctuary. And as you exhale, just feel that sense of home from deep within. remembering this feeling. Now we'll come back to this inner sanctuary, this place as often as we need throughout practice and even taking this off of our mat and into our lives off of our mat. So we'll start to deepen the breath here. Bringing the awareness to the belly, just feel the belly rise and fall. Now wherever your legs are, just start to bend the knees and take the feet as wide as the mat. And we'll just bring the arms out to the sides and start to gently sway your legs from side to side bringing the legs from one side to the other, just gently opening up the hips and the groin and the spine. The next time that your legs are over to the left, just release them there, let them drop, let them fall. Breathe into your belly, find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck. And then bring your legs to center and then all the way over to the right side. Abdominal breathing. And then bring your legs back to center. Feet come hip width distance apart. We'll come into a nice hip opener. So cross your right ankle, let it clear your left thigh. Right foot is flexed. Option one, to place your right hand to your right thigh. Gently push the right thigh away. Or bring your right hand through between the hands and interlace the fingers behind the back of the left thigh or around the left shin. Relax your shoulders, chin slightly in. And your tailbone's nice and heavy and just drop into your abdominal breath. Finding ease as you breathe and release tension and stiffness. Returning back to that inner peace. And now gently release your hands, place your left foot down, your right foot down, and we'll do a simple switch to the other side. Cross your left ankle, let it clear the right thigh, left foot is flexed. Option one, keep your left hand to your left thigh, gently push the thigh away, or thread left hand between the legs, interlace your hands around behind the right thigh or around your right shin. Find your sweet spot here, relax your shoulders, chin slightly in, breathe into your belly, with every exhalation, just invite in that deeper sense of release.
release your hands, release your right foot. And then from here, we'll just bring in both knees in towards the chest, interlace the fingers around the shins. You can sway or rock from side to side or just be still. And then we'll either roll over to one side or rock up and we'll meet on all fours tabletop position. Now from here in tabletop, your wrists are under the shoulders, knees under the hips, we'll come into a nice puppy stretch. So you can walk or slide the hands forward, melting the forehead down towards the mat. You can always place a block under the forehead or place the elbows down for extra support. You can see if you can press the tops of the feet down or if it's more supportive and stable to tuck the toes under, you can do that here. Connect to your breath, nice and smooth. Beautiful, now walk your hands back underneath your shoulders for support. We're gonna sit back on our heels if you would like a prop or a block for extra support. You can place the block in between the ankles. One or two blocks or no blocks. And then we'll take our hands to our shoulders and we'll start to bring some shoulder rolls to just open up the chest. So we're gonna bring the elbows forward, up, back and around. And we're staying connected to the breath here. Get nice and easeful. Good, now inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Feel the sides of the waist lengthen. And as you exhale, take your left hand down to the ground and reach your right arm up and over. The chest stays open, the shoulders are soft. Root down through your right sit bone and extend all the way through your right fingertips. Find a comfortable gaze for your eyes. Either look down or look straight ahead or turn your head, look up. And then inhale, both arms reach up, lengthen. And then as you exhale, right hand comes down, left arm comes up and over. Now root down through your left sit bone, extend all the way up through your left fingers. Stay tethered to your breath. Then as you inhale, rise, reach both arms up. And then as you exhale, flip your palms away and slowly lower your arms, clear the space around you. Now we'll bring our hands behind us, interlace the fingers, give the shoulders a loop onto the back, extend your elbows, knuckles down and away, keep your ribs knitted in. And now your breath will shift a little bit into the chest, into the heart as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, the belly gently pulls in. Stay here for a couple more breaths. All right, let's release the hands and interlace them in front of us, palms face us. And then we'll push the knuckles away from us, pull the belly in, tuck the chin in. So you're making a C shape or a banana shape with the spine. You might feel a little stretch in your quads, chin in, breathe into your upper back. And then as you inhale, you're gonna lift your torso, flip the palms away from you, scoop the arms up, inhale lengthen long spine and then again as you exhale release your hands and again clear the space around you as you exhale all right so from here we're going to just come off of our props our blocks come on to our sit bones 
And we'll come into Janu Sirshasana with the right leg extended out in front and then bend the left knee so the left foot is on the inside of the right inner thigh. You can always take your hands and assist to remove some of the flesh or sit up on something or a pillow. So again, the torso stacked over the hips. Welcome to bend in the right knee. You're also welcome to tuck a block under the left thigh. Support yourself as you need so you can find and connect to that inner sanctuary and that peace so we're not pulled and distracted by the body feeling uncomfortable. So support is always lovely and welcomed. Inhale, reach your arms up, biceps by the ears. There's a little twist to the right towards that right leg. And then as you exhale, grab a hold of the right foot, bend the knee if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, holding on to that foot. Use that as leverage to relax the shoulders. Chin stays in and just lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, we find a fold here. So again, we're negotiating between the fold and the length here. Chin is in, relax the jaw. Maybe you close down your eyes and just drop into your abdominal breathing. So whenever we're in a forward fold, this helps to facilitate that deeper sense of calm and peace and letting go. And perhaps you even anchor in deeper into the longer exhalations. to come out of the shape. We're gonna extend the arms out in front of us, biceps by the ears, thumbs back in space. Inhale, rise up with a strong flat back. And then as you exhale, lower your arms down onto your thighs. Just pause for a moment and just receive that deep sense of grounding here. Beautiful, we'll do a simple switch to the other side. So left leg extends, bend your right knee, right foot to the inside of the left inner thigh, readjust your hips. There's a little twist towards that left leg, so your heart's in front of that left leg. Flex your left foot, bend the knee if you need to. Support yourself. Inhale, reach your arms up, biceps by the ears. And then as you exhale, hinge, fold over the hips, and then grab a hold of your foot. Inhale, halfway lift here, shoulders down, heart comes through, chin in. And then as you exhale, we find the fold. But not completely rounding and letting go, we'll maintain some length here and, and integrity in the spine. Shoulders are soft, chin is in. Maybe you close your eyes, go inward, come back into that inner sanctuary and drop into your abdominal breath. To come out of the shape, we're gonna extend the arms out in front of us, biceps by the ears. Inhale, lead with your thumbs, rise up, lengthen, and then exhale, hands to your thighs or your knees, pause here, rest, receive. Feeling that deep sense of calm. And then we'll re-extend the legs, scooch ourselves up a bit so that there's space for us to lie down. We're gonna come back down onto our backs. And then we'll bring the knees in towards us and feet together, open up the knees. Take your hands on the insides and just interlace your fingers around your feet. It's like you're catching or holding your feet. Once you have them, start to just readjust, relax the back down, shoulders soft, chin is in, let your tailbone get nice and heavy. And then relax your thighs, relax your groin, soften your jaw. Maybe close down the eyes and soften the energy behind your eyes. Let your belly be soft. 
And just allow yourself to be held here with your hands holding your feet. Allow your hips to relax. Beautiful. Now gently release, close your legs, legs together, interlace your hands around your shins, coming into a nice little seed. You can keep your head down or if you'd like to lift your head and shoulders, bring your nose towards your knees, coming into a seed, seed of possibility. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, extend your legs out into Shavasana. Let your ankles fall open, palms are up. Get comfortable, make the adjustments. Close down your eyes. Release your breath. And just let your whole body rest on the ground here. And perhaps here you drop back into that inner sanctuary, opening up that door within yourself that place that offers you serenity and peace. Allow yourself to rest here and be enveloped by this tranquility. Now you can slowly and gently begin your return by deepening your breath. Start to bring some movement back to your body by moving your fingers and your toes, your wrists, your ankles. Bring your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch. Just gently reawakening here. Coming back to the external world for a moment as we transition. Bring your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a hug. And then we're gonna meet in a comfortable seated position to move into our pranayama practice. So we wanna prop our hips up on something so we can find ease in our physical posture or lean up against the wall or sit on a chair. Sit up nice and tall, soften the shoulders down and away, release any gripping in the thighs. And we'll move into a pranayama today called Nadi Shodhana. And this is alternate nostril breathing which helps to bring balance between the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of the brain to bring them together 
And this will help us to create and cultivate that equilibrium to access that inner peace. So we're going to create a mudra with our right hand. So your peace fingers are going to go in, your pinky and ring finger are out, and your thumb is out. So you're going to just take your hands and just have your thumb and the ring finger on either side and slide your hands down the bridge of the nose until you find that fleshy cartilage part. That's where you're going to gently press when we, when we alternate. So you can relax your hand for now. This whole process of Nadi Shodhana is approach from a place of ease, we're never forcing or pushing anything. Slow, smooth inhalations and exhalations will guide you through and then leave you on your own. So again, we adjust your posture. If you found that you started rounding again, sit up tall, find ease, this relaxed awareness, close down your eyes. To get on the same page, just take a breath in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Prepare your mudra. Hover your hands. Gently close your right nostril and inhale through the left, nice and smooth. Close left, exhale right, release your thumb. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Continue on your own, inhaling left. And just follow through one more full round on your own. Nice and slow and smooth and continuous. When you are finished with your last round, you finish with the exhalation on the left nostril, out of the left. No rush. When you are complete, you're going to release your hand down, release the breathing technique, and rest your awareness in the space between your eyebrows or in the center of the forehead. Breath is effortless. And allow yourself to rest in this pulsating light emanating from the center of the forehead from this area. And just see, sense, or feel yourself becoming more and more deeply absorbed within this light, this pulsating light. This pulsating light, as it unfolds, offers us deep peace, deep ease, and deep calm. And just allow yourself to rest here in this light, allowing it to unfold effortlessly.
Now you're welcome to stay in meditation for as long as you'd like, resting here. If you feel like you are complete and you'd like to finish practice and continue on, you're welcome to bring the palms to touch in front of your heart space. Just honoring your practice in whatever way that calls to you, honoring that inner sanctuary of peace that is always there, it's always available to you. Thank you for your trust and for sharing your practice. Thank you for practicing. From my heart to yours, namaste.